Thank you for taking the time to view this passenger safety briefing video as provided by the Office of Aeronautics Air Transportation Services Group. For your safety, it's important that you take the time to fully understand the content of this video. Should you have any questions following this video, please contact your crew member. Your trip will be coordinated with Air Transportation Services. Once the trip has been confirmed, you will be provided with directions to the appropriate facility for departure. Please plan to arrive no less than 15 minutes prior to the scheduled time of departure. This will allow us to make our wheels up time consistent with your schedule. Considering the many seasons experienced in Minnesota, please plan to dress appropriately for the conditions. Normally, your flight will depart the St. Paul Downtown Airport. Upon arrival at your assigned departure location, your pilots will greet you in the passenger waiting area and assemble your group prior to departure. This is a good time to exchange contact information with the pilots, confirm the day's schedule, and place all of your portable electronics in airplane mode. Federal regulations prohibit the carriage of hazardous materials. Please leave any hazardous materials behind so they are not carried on board the aircraft. You and your group will be escorted to the aircraft. Walking to the aircraft will require passing through an active aircraft operations area. Please maintain vigilance for moving vehicles, propellers, and jet blast. During winter operations, the ramp surface may be icy. Please watch your step. Once you have boarded the aircraft, you will be asked if you have viewed and are comfortable with the content of this video. If you are, please respond in the affirmative. If not, the pilot will take the time to brief the entire group. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask. Please do not hesitate to clarify any questions you may have. Unless it's an emergency, we ask that you refrain from contacting the crew during critical phases of flight such as taxi, takeoff, and landing. Your safety is our primary focus. If you are flying in one of the state-owned King Airs, you will leave from Signature Flight Support. You'll find ample parking directly adjacent to the facility. Please enter through the main doors and meet your group in the passenger lounge. After being escorted to the aircraft, you will enter through the aft air stairs. Let your crew member know if you need any assistance during boarding. Please note that the aircraft manufacturer requires only one person should be on the stairway at any given time. If you are carrying baggage, coordinate with your crew member for stowing in the cargo compartment. Upon boarding, choose a seat and take a moment to note the various safety items available to you. This includes passenger briefing cards located in the seat backs. The cards may be used to reinforce the content of this video. Most of the seats contain provisions for adjusting the seat back and headrest. Seat backs should be upright and headrests fully extended for takeoff and landing. Please use the seat's controls to adjust accordingly. In most seats, lap belts are located on either side of your seat. A shoulder harness is also provided on the upper portion of the seat back. Note that side-facing seats do not have shoulder harnesses, but do have lap belts. The lap portion latches as shown. The shoulder harness attaches around a fitting located on the lap belt buckle. To tighten and loosen the belts, either tilt the buckle at a 90 degree angle to loosen, or pull on the free end of the belt to tighten. To release your seat belt, simply lift up on the latch portion to allow the belt to release. You are required to have your safety restraints fastened during taxi, takeoff, and landing. However, we recommend they be fastened whenever you are in your seat. The King Airs are equipped with two exits. The primary exit will be the door that you use to enter the aircraft. The second is an emergency exit located on the right side of the aircraft. During normal operations, the crew will close and open the main exit doors. However, in the event of an emergency, you may be required to open the exits. To open the primary exit, push the silver button to the left of the door handle and rotate the door handle counterclockwise. Once open, simply push the door and allow it to fold away from the aircraft. In the event the primary door is blocked or unusable, depart the aircraft through the emergency exit. To open, manipulate the exit as shown. During egress, please leave all personal belongings on the aircraft and exit in an expeditious manner. Once outside, exit to the rear of the aircraft. In the unlikely event of a loss of cabin pressurization, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling. Simply place the mask over your nose and mouth and tighten the straps to ensure a tight fit. 
breathe normally, and rest assured the crew will advise you when it's safe to remove the masks. Fire extinguishers are located under the co-pilot seat and near the rear exit. These devices should only be activated at the direction of a crew member. For detailed information regarding the location of these devices, refer to a passenger briefing card. If you'll be joining us on a flight using our King Air C90, there are some slight differences, primarily in emergency exit operation and with the oxygen masks. Similar to the King Air 200, the emergency exit is located on the right side of the aircraft. To open, remove the plastic cover, depress the tab located on the bottom of the red lever, pull up on the red lever to unlatch the door, and the door will hinge down against the airframe. Egress technique should be the same as the King Air 200. Supplemental oxygen is also available in the King Air C90. However, unlike the King Air 200, deployment of the oxygen masks is not automatic. If supplemental oxygen is required, locate a plastic bag containing an oxygen mask in one of the seat backs. If you are in one of the aft seats, the oxygen masks are located in the cabinet across from the entry door. Remove the mask from the bag and plug the end of the fitting in one of the oxygen ports located in the ceiling of the cabin. A fresh supply of oxygen is available immediately after donning the mask. For the safety of you and your crew, please be sure to follow all posted cabin signs and placards. We hope you enjoy your flight. If you're scheduled to fly in one of our Bonanza aircraft, you will depart from the St. Paul Flight Center. Upon arrival at the Flight Center, parking is available across the street from the main building. After parking your vehicle, cross the street and enter the building premises through the adjacent gate. Remember to close the gate behind you. Walk along the building until you find the entrance to the passenger lounge located on your left. Once inside the building, proceed down the hallway to the waiting area. Make yourself comfortable in the lobby area until you're greeted by a crew member. When it's time for departure, your crew member will escort you to the aircraft. As you arrive to the aircraft, there are some differences compared to the King Air. The first is the number and type of exits. The Bonanza is equipped with four exits. They include the forward cabin door, the utility doors, and emergency exit cabin windows. Generally, your crew member will operate the doors, but in the event of an emergency, it's important that you understand their operation. If you'll be seated in the cabin, the forward cabin door is opened by pushing the button, rotating the handle clockwise, and pushing the door out and forward. If you'll be seated in one of the aft seats, the utility doors work by first pressing the button, rotating the handle clockwise, and pushing the first door out and forward. Complete the opening sequence by simply lifting the handle located on the second door upwards and pushing the door out and aft. If either of the two main exits are blocked or are unusable, egress out the emergency exit cabin windows. To open, first remove the plastic cover. Next, rotate the red lever up to break the safety wire and push the window out to hinge away from the fuselage. Operation of this exit on our second Bonanza is slightly different. To open, first hold down the pin located on the forward portion of the handle assembly. Next, pull up on the metal bar and pull out the red pin located on the aft portion of the handle assembly. The window will now hinge out and away from the fuselage. A single fire extinguisher is located between the forward and middle seats. As you enter the aircraft, take a moment to properly adjust your seat. Provisions for seat adjustment are located on the sides of the seat backs and on the forward portions of the seat bottom. The seat back of any occupied seat needs to be in the most upright position for takeoffs and landings. Any occupied aft facing seats must also have the headrests fully extended. And lastly, if you are seated in the forward cabin, adjust your seat so as to remain clear of all flight controls. Operation of the seat belts is identical to that of the King Airs. The Bonanzas are equipped with a voice-activated intercom to enhance communication between you, your travel partners, and your crew member. You'll find a headset at your seat when you arrive at the aircraft. To use, locate the headset jacks and make sure the cords are plugged in. Next, don the headset making sure the headset is firmly secured around your ears and the microphone boom is close to your mouth. Simply speak loudly and clearly into the microphone to communicate. On occasion, your crew member may isolate your communications so as to not interfere with air traffic control. We hope you find your flight enjoyable. As always, contact your crew member if you need anything. 
happy flying.